90% of my shorts flatline after getting a thousand views. So I decided I had to do something different. I scrolled for hours and hours on Instagram and TikTok and then I came across this video. Your time is more valuable than these useless videos. You need to realize the true potential you have and know that time will not wait for you. I know this video won't stop you from watching reels. This video got 16 million views. Here's exactly how they did this. They applied principle number one, they show you a visual hook to feed your dopamine addiction. This is just one of the four psychological principles that they played on you to make you watch the video to the end. And instead of consuming Instagram yourself, why don't you take advantage of it? So how do you create a video like this? Well, the first step is we need to find a visual hook. We can do this through YouTube, Instagram or TikTok. So choose your poison, but be careful with it. We got videos to make. Here's what we're looking for. We're looking for videos that have high anticipation in the beginning. A video like this. Is the perfect example as it builds anxiety and hope in anticipation of what is going to happen to the car. This hook was exactly five seconds long and I've analyzed over 15 hooks and I found that the average hook was about 6.25 seconds long. But the visual can be anywhere from three to 10 seconds long. I wouldn't advise to make it any longer as that may interrupt with the watch time. A viral video is made as follows. The first three to 10 seconds are for building up anticipation. And right when that peak is getting high, that's where you slap the viewer in the face with reality. And that's also principle number two, confronting the viewer. Here's an example of a text of how you can confront the viewer. Hit that car, hit that car, hit that car. Yep. You have a serious problem. People are out there working on themselves and you are here on your phone scrolling and watching content that is destroying your life. This is the part where you release your inner Mike Tyson. You keep hitting them with hooks to hit them right on their pain point. But wait, it doesn't end there. Before I show you exactly how you can create this video, you must know this important metric. Engagement means the world to platforms like Instagram, YouTube and TikTok. The longer the viewers on the platform, the more money they make. So if you manage to do that, then they will reward you by making your video go viral. And that's exactly why we need to add principle number three, motivation, and principle number four, a call to action. So after you've brought the viewer down by hitting them in the pain points, it is time to motivate them again to make them continue to watch the video. We do this by asking ChatGPT to write a script for us. I've done this already and I will list the exact prompt that I used in the document in the description down below. Now all we need to do is add a call to action in our script. And this call to action needs to perfectly align with our text. There are multiple ways that we can do this, but I I found two ways that I want to add in there. The first call to action is have them follow you. This makes sure you get more followers, which you can convert later into like paying clients. The second method is have them comment on your video. This helps a lot with engagement. This call to action can be something like comment 2024 if you're ready to take action. And with the help of automated DMs, we can monetize this method. So keep that method in your mind because we're gonna use this later. So now that you understand these principles, principles, let me put it in action for you by editing a video with you. These are the exact tools that I use to create the video. ChatGPT, 11labs, pexels.com, CapCut and also Submagic. I will leave the link to all of these tools in the description down below. I'm not sponsored by any of them, so don't worry about that. But if you use my link, then it will massively help support the channel. And this video took me a while to make, so I would appreciate it. Now, after putting in our prompt through ChatGPT, this is what we will do next. We will copy the script that it has generated for us. Then we copy this and then we paste it into 11 Labs. At 11 Labs, we use the following settings. We use the Adam voice because this one has the deepest voice of them all. Allow the world to live as it chooses and allow yourself to live as... So that sounds pretty good. The settings that I used are as followed. I've kept them to default, but you can play around with this later. Now copying your text, I've already done that and I've tweaked it a little bit. So I would suggest don't just blindly follow ChatGPT, adjust it a little bit and make it custom to your own style. 
Once you're happy with your voiceover, click on generate. And now you can have a listen to it. And once you're happy with it, you can click on download. And now your voiceover is done. Next up is pexels.com. Here we're gonna find our stock footage. We can find it by going through the trending videos and you can see anything that you'd like, or you can click on search and there you can type in like, for example, Galaxy, and then you can find the right footage for your video. Now the exciting part happened and that is editing the video. I'm gonna do this through CapCut because it is free to use, but you can also use Premiere or any other video editing tool that you use. The first thing you do is import your hook. This is the hook that I found earlier. One, two, oh, baby! And what you want to do is you want to cut it off at the exact moment where the exciting part starts. Now we take a black screen, we can find that in the library and we click on this one. We drag it over and then we add in a transition effect. The effect that I like the most is the black fade and the glitch effect. We will mostly be using these effects for our video. So what we now do is we add our 11 laps voiceover. Within the voiceover, you might want to make small cuts to make it go a little bit faster. And then you put it underneath your video. And now it sounds like this. Oh, baby! Here you are, scrolling again. So I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit. And all we need right now is a sound effect. So to do that, we go to audio and then we go to sound effects and then we type in the whoosh sound effect. And the exact one that I used, it's the sci-fi whoosh effect. And we're gonna position it right when the transition happens. So now the next step is adding in all of the stock footage that we've downloaded through Pexels. Make sure to leave some black screens in there and you want to make cuts like every two to three seconds because this will keep the viewer more engaged. After you've edited in your stock footage, then this is what you wanna do next. You wanna make the opacity go to like 50% so that your text is better readable once we add that through Submagic. And then what you also want to do is you want to add a black fade in between each section. So now our video is almost done. All we have to do is add some particles effects to make it look a bit smoother. So what we do is we type in particles and then we find one that we like. For example, let me take a look. For example, this one from the Cotton Bro Studio. You download it and once you have it downloaded then you import it into CapCut. I already have mine right here. You overlay it on the video and then what you do next is you click on mode and then you go to screen and this way it won't be like taking up the entire screen. It will be like mixed together with the existing footage. Lastly I would say turn the opacity down to like 50%. This way it looks a bit smoother. Now to finish it off, I add some motivational music and I already have mine right here. You can find this through like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts. You can just download that music and put it underneath your video. Make sure to adjust the volume a little bit. And now our video is almost done. All we need is the captions. So for the captions, I'd like to use Submagic because this is by far the easiest way to add subtitles to your videos and it works as followed. Once you're logged in, you can import your video that you've just exported on CapCut. So if you haven't done already, click on export. Now export your video. And once that is exported, we can drag it over into Submagic. So once your video is done uploading, then you have to select your editing style. And I use this custom style that I have right here. I will show you the exact presets in the document that I've listed in the description down below. But to explain to you quickly, I used the classic Imangazi font, then I changed it to all uppercase. I changed the size. I also changed like the font that I used. And then I go to like one word, and then I change this as well. Change the position, make it a little bit higher. And this way I create my custom font. Now you're gonna separate each word. So if there are two words in one, then you click on plus, And now you say to this word, move to the next line and this way all of your words are as one. After that, your video is done. Here's what mine looks like. Here you are, scrolling again. The world won't wait for you to catch up. While you're scrolling, others are out there hustling, grinding and turning dreams into reality. It's time to break free from the social media spell. Here's the deal. I want you to take charge. Turn off the endless feed and switch on your ambition. If you're committed to taking control of your life, comment 2024 and I'll guide you. So your video is now done, but how do we monetize it? Well, remember when I said we need to use the call to action wisely? Well, this is why. For example, this page is called Wi-Fi Aesthetics and what they do is they end their video with comment ready and I will guide you. 
like the call to action that I used as well. And what they've done, they've set it up an automated Instagram DM. So when this person comments ready, for example, then they will automatically get a DM with their digital product, their course, or anything that they are selling. So this page, for example, they perfectly have set it up. They have a free access to a 10K per month course. They are pretty much promoting someone else's course or it's their own course. And if you comment like ready, or if you comment a specific word that has been targeted by the automated DMs, then they will send you this link. And once you open it, then you will be looking into it. And if you're motivated by it, then you might buy it. So this is how people monetize these kind of videos. There you have it. I've listed all the things that you need in the document down below. And if you want to learn how to edit like Imangatsi, then check out this video.